Rob, we're 24 hours out from the game and this is your first look at uh, Loftus Ferris. Felt impressive, but uh, just sum up the week and how it's been for the guys. No, it's been very good. I mean, obviously, we, we haven't trained here. We've, we've trained at a local rugby club, um, Pretoria Harlequins. They've been fantastic uh, with us, very, very generous in their time and the effort they've made to make everything work well for us. Um, and everything's been well planned. You know, we've, we've moved around the, the hotel complex pretty well. Easy, easy bus trip to the training ground. The lads have, have really pulled into kind of a mini tour type feeling where they've set themselves some really high standards in training, but they've had a bit of fun around the week as well. Um, and they've really pulled together and I'm, I'm really excited about tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be the defining factor on whether this is something to remember this trip and whether all the things we've done and the experiences the guys have had like going on safari or whatever, whether they'd all become really worthwhile because the performance will need to happen for the lads to really remember things. But it, it does feel like we've, we've got a good vibe about ourselves and, and we're ready to go hard. Teams are out, obviously you've been forced into change with Luke uh having an operation and everything but um, just sum up what Jack Inard will bring in and, and how your makeup of the squad is looking. Yeah well obviously we decided to bring Jack in it was it was one of those ones it was, a lot, it was a long decision around the front row and the makeup of the front row set piece didn't go as well as we'd have liked last week um, one of Jack's strengths has been around the set piece he's going to have to obviously come in and make an impact in other areas of the game as well but we felt it was just right to make a change there obviously Jack offers a great deal of experience and we'll add a, a real calm head and some really good instructions coming off the bench later in the game but overall you know we've kind of said to the lads we've got to we've got to go hard we can't do what other teams have done when they've come here and, and concede a lot of points early and then end up chasing the game so we're, we're ready to go and as I say you know you can see the guys that there's, there's a good vibe around the place I think they're quite excited to see the see the stadium now for the first time we, we can tick this box now and we can relax tonight and tomorrow and get ourselves ready for the evening kickoff. The other changes on the bench where you bring in a former bull who knew knows this place better than anyone, Giannis Kirsten. Again, huge experience to bring back in and someone to bring off the bench. Definitely, and he, he's kind of been there or thereabouts for a couple of weeks now and we've just not tried to push him back too quickly. He's covering second row now again. We probably think he's a, he's a really good scrummaging option there as well and we'll come in and work very hard in that area of the game. But as I said, we, we've, got to, we've got to come out of the blocks. We've got to get the first part of the game right um, and then that will hopefully allow the bench to have a sort of significant impact for us later on. You've looked at the bull side, they're pretty fully loaded and that's probably what you expected, wasn't it? Yeah, well the good thing is, I mean, it's it's the team that will pick it roughly the, the, the same side as last week, which means the analysis we've done there will be very relevant. Um, and so we're, no, we're, we're, we're ready to go, you know, they've had a they've had a difficult travelling period over the last three or four weeks. They've had to, they've had to move around a lot um, and we've got to take advantage of that and make sure we're the most settled team.